All right, guys, welcome back to the Hobby Farm Homestead. I uh, just got home from work, and uh, we had to, I had to take care of the chicken coop because some of the wire had fell down and all the chickens got out. So we just put the new chickens uh, that I showed you a couple videos ago in the coop last night. And, of course, <laughs> the wire fell down and they are out. So we are going to have to chase them around tonight and get them all back in the coop. Um, the other, the, you know, the original chickens don't go in the coop, but these white ones won't. Here's two of them right here. But, uh, they don't know really what to do because they have never actually been out able to roam like this. So they're somewhat paranoid. I'm not sure. But they are definitely a hardy chicken. But Anyways, that's not really what this video is going to be about. Um, today, what I'm going to do is... <laughs> Kind of give you a review on this poly tape uh, for the horse pasture that I put up. You know, it's been up a little over almost two years now. So I think I can give a pretty honest review on it. Now, as far as putting it up, it wasn't um, very hard to put up at all. You know, the instructions for it, you just had to have the insulators on each post and at the very end of each run you had to be able to uh, have two insulators on the end of that and you kind of just did like a little fold around a uh, triangle piece of metal and you just pulled, pulled it tight like a like a draw strap so <clears throat> the installation of it was relatively easy uh, that was the last part of my fence that I put up and like I said it wasn't too bad now as far as durability on this stuff it stretches over time a lot um, so I'm constantly I bet you at least once a month I have to go around and boy that sun's bright now and tighten it up so that means in order to tighten it up these little brackets right here insulators on the pole right there have to be snapped open on every pole so this is a short run so there's three here in order to tighten this up. And I just tightened this up and I don't know if you can tell, it's got a little bit of sna uh, sag to it right now. That's what you have to do to tighten them up. So you go around, so you go around and you have to loosen all those up. And then at the each end, there's insulators and that little bar thing that you have to wrap the, the tape around, which is right there. You have to unwrap that and try to draw it. Now there's metal mesh inside that poly tape. That's what makes it a uh, non-insulated tape that you can run power through it. So it is extremely hard to get that to pull through those. Boy, this lighting is crazy. Let me get over here, block that sunlight a little bit. But anyways, so in order to pull that through that buckle, uh, it makes it really hard because, like I said, it's a metal mesh. So it's very, very hard to uh, retighten after you, the initial installation. But I mean, it, it can be done. You know, it takes a lot of force to get it to go. Um, but the pain in the butt about it is you almost have to do it every month to make it look good. You know, I'm kind of particular. I don't want to have a sagging fence, so I'm constantly checking my fence. Now, the high tensile. It's maybe once every six months or once a year, depending, you know, depending on the weather, really. If it's super hot, it tends to stretch a little easier. So that's usually one or two ratchets, and it tightens it up. But, uh, yeah, I, the, in my opinion, the poly tape for the fence, unless you're putting it up in a small area, I wouldn't waste your money. Or if you're putting it on maybe T-posts or something like that, it's nice that you can run power to it, but I wouldn't waste my money, to be honest with you. Um, it just, it's not very expensive, but the insulators are. You have to buy so many of them because they got to go on every pole. Uh, the high tensile, you're just stapling it, and if it's a, you know, not an electrified wire, you just Anyways, staple it direct. Uh, in my opinion, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't mess with the poly tape, like I said, unless you're putting it in a small area. So that's that on the review you know I mean I'm not here to put down the poly fence I mean it's probably 
good for certain applications, but for the amount that I have, it's not. It's just, it's just not. I mean, because some of those runs were over a thousand feet, and those are the ones that sag the worst. So, um, for my application, it's not, it's not the right stuff, for sure. So, yeah, like I said, I'll probably replace it in a year or so with the wider plastic uh, fencing. You know, that's, that's, it's more stable. It has high tensile on the top and bottom of it, so it, it's more stable. It doesn't stretch at all. So, <laughs> but so that's uh, my review on the poly tape. Uh, good for some applications, but for mine, no. It's just too much. It's too much to keep keep up. Um, it's just a pain in the butt. So that's all I want to do is give you guys a little bit of review on uh, poly tape. You know, like I said, I've had it for two years, so I know exactly what it's going to take to maintain it, and that is the downfall of it is the maintenance on it. Um, other than that, like I said, if it's a small application, go for it. And if you're not worried about it sagging and looking bad, don't worry about it. Just put it up and uh, go for it. But in my opinion, I don't want stuff to look bad, so I try to keep it as uh, straight as possible. And that requires, like I said, every at least once a month trying to tighten it up. All right, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I'll talk to you later.